Hey there, it's Crash Bang again. Uh, welcome to, I think this is episode 4. It's been a little while. I pretty much didn't record some of the things that I thought would be kind of boring, but I thought I'd give a status update. Um, so, and one of my cats is complaining behind me because one of the other cats is attacking her. Alright, so here's what I have so far. I've been continuing to grow trees, and I'm just... I'm too frustrated to take these trees down. Maybe I'll build them into something. Uh, but I keep getting very large trees, which, you know, that's a lot of wood, and, you know, wood is helpful, but it's a pain for me to go and take everything down and harvest it all. So I decided I was going to make a... basically a submerged tree farm. Uh, this is the start of it. As you can see, I've got torches under glass, so... Uh, water flooding in will not extinguish them, knock them away, or whatever. Um, eventually, I plan to have some type of redstone and pistons set up um, on the far end to just use water to just wash everything that drops over to the other side to make it easier for me. Uh, I started this pit out basically just to harvest sand because I wanted a lot of sand to make glass. And I figured I might as well use it for something else in addition to you know, just getting lots of sand. Getting the sand was kind of easy. I would just take existing sand that I'd already harvested and just drop it down the side here until I had a solid line and then I'd dig out the previous line. Uh, the hardest part was replacing uh, the previous line of sand along this edge here with wood, which I was thinking I was going to have wood go all across here. Uh, that decision just recently changed, and I'll show you why over here. Apparently, whoop. Uh, I fail at parkour. Apparently, and this is something I did not know, uh, when trees grow, logs will push right through wood just fine. And um, while I could just leave that there, the problem would be if I left that there, then, well, the leaves wouldn't go away after I cut the rest of the tree down. So I'm going to have to replace that with something else. Most likely it's going to be replaced with glass. Um, since I happen to have been digging up a lot of sand. Anyway, I haven't really been doing that much in the way of progress with my farm over here, uh, mostly because I'm not getting a lot of seeds from the wheat, unfortunately. I've mostly been subsisting, as you just saw, off of apples, and I've been very fortunate that enough apples have been dropping from the trees so that the little bit of bread that I was able to make so far wasn't that big a deal. I can see a few islands off in the distance in various directions. It's probably going to be a project to build bridges to go to them and connect them to this main island here um, in the future. I'm holding off on that for now. I was primarily working on the tree farm, harvesting sand for glass, and oops, now we still got some time left on that. I did manage to finish my mine shaft, so let's show you that. And even though I put stairs in here, it still feels like I'm going down a rumble strip. Alright, so here we are. I am not down to bedrock, but I really didn't care to go down to bedrock. I am at, if you look at this, I am at level 12, y equals 12 there. And basically what that means is most lava is going to be appearing below me, so I don't really have to worry about, well I still have to worry about it, but I don't have to worry as much about digging forward and suddenly having lava poured down into my tunnel and have, having to quick shore that up. Uh, diamonds still spawn pretty rarely, um, well regularly at this level, so it, it's a good mix between you know, not dying a fiery death, and, you know, getting lots of diamonds and other resources. So, that's what I have so far. Let's go back up here. I should also mention, uh, you see I've placed torches pretty much everywhere. It was in an attempt to stop mobs from spawning and trying to eat my face, 
and it's been mostly successful. Uh, there was one or two dark corners that I didn't have torches close enough to an edge of something, and a few mobs did spawn. Um, for the most part, mobs have been spawning when trees grow and end up blocking the light from torches I've placed. So, as you can see, I, I've had some adventures with mobs. Um, nothing really nerve-wracking and exciting, unfortunately. Or fortunately, since I wasn't recording that. So, I guess you didn't miss out on anything. Um, but when I start encountering cave systems in my mining, I am definitely going to record those because you might get to hear me scream like a little girl, and that will be exciting for everyone, including me. Um, although exciting in a bad way, my case. Alright, so in the next video, I will record most likely the end of the tree farm where I've replaced the wood with glass. I'm not going to record uh, the whole process of getting rid of the wood and putting the glass in. I think that'd be kind of boring. And in the next video, I'll also probably start doing something with these trees because I've decided I'm not going to cut this tree down. I'm going to incorporate it into something, probably my house. Uh, so I'll just use that as the beginning framework for it, and we'll see how that goes. Alright, 